Now in this lecture and the upcoming lectures, we will see how we can create role based access management. So for that in the user model, we will be having an extra property, which is the role. So for that, we will first create an enum and we'll call that as role. And here we will be having two role. One will be admin and one will be user. And here uh, we will have role, which will be of type role. And by default, uh, every user will be have a user role. So if we want to like assign some user admin, we can directly go into the Prisma Studio and change it from there. So this is how it works. Now go to the terminal and create a migration. So let's quit this and we'll say npx Prisma migrate dev and we'll give it a name of uh, add roles to user. Okay, so it's done. Now let's run the server again and go to the go to the new terminal and run Prisma Studio here and PX Prisma Studio. And it's running on local host 55. Uh, we will say Chrome. We will open the Chrome and inside the Chrome we will say local host current 5555. So here is the Prisma Studio. We have one model user and you can see that by default. Sorry. Yeah. So by default, everyone has a user role. So if you want to edit any of the user, for example, I want to edit the first user and uh, just simply click here and just say admin. Save one change. So now the user one has the role of admin. Now we will use this uh, user to create the products because in our system, we want only admins to create and update the products. So in the next lecture, first we will create the product model and then we will create a simple route, which will be a post route, which is used to create a product. And on that route, we will place that role-based middleware. So let's see you in the next lecture.